syphilis is a sexually transmitted infection. Um, it's caused by a bacterium. Uh, and as far as the signs or symptoms, uh, people do develop those uh, signs and symptoms. So for example, early on, folks usually get uh, a painless sore that's uh, often called a chancre. Um, that will resolve with or without treatment. And then folks often go on to what's called the secondary stage, uh, which is characterized by usually a rash. It can be on the palms of the hands or soles of the feet, but it can be anywhere anywhere on the body. Um, the thing to keep in mind though with syphilis is those symptoms can be very mild. And since uh, they can, they're often painless, they can go unnoticed. What could happen if syphilis is left untreated? So if syphilis is left untreated, it can cause some very serious health consequences down the road. Um, it's a systemic infection, meaning it can get into any part of the body, uh, any organ system. So it kind of varies from individual to individual what part of the body it settles in, but um, it can lead to things like uh, what we call ocular syphilis, where it can settle in the eyes and eventually lead to vision loss and uh, blindness. The good news is that syphilis is completely curable. So as long as somebody is diagnosed early and gets the proper treatment, um, all of those uh, can be totally avoided. What is the treatment for syphilis? Standard treatment is uh, an injection called benzathine penicillin G. Uh, it's really just a, a derivative of penicillin. Uh, so it's an older treatment, but it's still very, very effective. Uh, so folks get an injection of that, and depending on what stage they're in, they may require multiple injections. Uh, for folks who do have a penicillin allergy, there is an alternative. Uh, doxycycline can be used. HHS reports syphilis quadrupled among Iowa women from 2019 to 2022. Do you have any reasons as to why? And we're in 2024 now, so I'm curious if you're still seeing that trend. We are seeing that trend, and that's something that we're seeing across the U.S. A big reason for that is it's a shift in the epidemic. So prior to 2020, um, we saw most of the infections in Iowa, upwards of 90 percent among men. So Women, their providers weren't really thinking about syphilis when they go in for a test. Uh, when folks go in and ask for an STI test, uh, a standard panel is more chlamydia gonorrhea. Uh, something like syphilis is usually additional. So um, weren't really thinking about that as much uh, with women uh, prior to 2020, except for pregnant women where that's um, always been a recommended test. Uh, so folks were acquiring that infection and um, unknowingly uh, transmitting it to others. And I'll say for women, uh, we're also concerned with congenital syphilis, uh, which occurs when uh, a pregnant woman passes the infection onto the fetus or newborn um, if she hasn't been properly treated. And we're seeing significant increases in congenital syphilis in Iowa and the U.S. as well. Uh, and that is a very serious infection. Um, it can result in stillbirth or neonatal death. Um, so that is uh, another one of the reasons why we're taking this very seriously and focusing in our prevention efforts. Are there any preventative things that people should be doing or vaccines that we could be doing to prevent more STIs? Unfortunately, there's no vaccine available for syphilis or for many STIs. Um, HPV is one of the exceptions. Um, so the primary things we recommend, you know, aside from traditional um, risk reduction methods like uh, using condoms, reducing the number of sex partners, is really that uh, regular routine testing. And the testing is um, pretty easy. It's a blood test, uh, and most laboratories can do that. And for folks who may not have a primary care provider, there's other um, options uh, in some of the larger <clears throat> counties in the state, such as Lynn County and Blackhawk County, the public health departments there. Uh, can offer that testing. George Walton with Iowa HHS, thank you so much for speaking with me. Thank you. Appreciate the opportunity.